Ibrahim Traore has just made history by unveiling Africa's first homegrown, cutting-edge aircraft, and now, even the West is paying attention. In a move that has sent shockwaves through the global aviation industry, President Ibrahim Traore officially presented the first fully African-manufactured airplane, proudly developed in Burkina Faso with a sleek build, high-performance engines, and next-level technology. This aircraft stands as one of the most advanced ever produced on African soil. The historic unveiling happened in Ouagadougou, where thousands gathered to witness a new chapter in African innovation. Engineers, aviation experts, government officials, and everyday citizens watched in amazement. As the aircraft soared into the skies for its maiden test flight, it flew with elegance, precision, and strength, delivering a clear and powerful message to the world. Africa is no longer on standby. Africa is innovating and leading. Comma. Initial reports highlight impressive features, enhanced fuel efficiency for long-distance travel, AI-driven navigation systems, ultralight but durable construction, and capabilities that match or even exceed those of renowned Western models. The reaction from the West? Utter disbelief. According to sources, several major American and European aerospace companies have already reached out, eager to purchase or collaborate with Burkina Faso to gain access to the groundbreaking technology, comma. But insiders say President Traoré is holding firm. He's determined that this moment remains. Africa's victory, owned and driven by the continent for the benefit of its people. In his powerful address, Traoré declared, for generations, we watched others dominate the skies. Today, we rise with our own wings, our own vision, and our own strength. This triumph belongs not just to Burkina Faso, but to all of Africa. The launch has instantly become a source of pride, empowerment, and unity across the continent. Social media is buzzing. Videos of the flight are spreading like wildfire on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Many are calling this Africa's own Wright Brothers moment. Meanwhile, Western governments are in disbelief, struggling to grasp how a nation like Burkina, Faso, under heavy sanctions and external pressure, was able to develop such advanced technology so rapidly. Comma. Some speculate that quiet strategic alliances with China and Russia may have provided key financial and technical support, partnerships that Traore has been carefully cultivating behind the scenes. Whatever the truth may be, one thing is clear, Africa has taken off. And this time, there's no turning back. If this inspired you, kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe to The African Rise for more amazing videos like this.